Okay guys, today I have something a little unusual for you. This is the Wilson the T-Rex book stand from PNSO. And unlike the elegant white boxes we're used to, this comes instead in an elegant black box. Now let's get it out. As you can see, it looks really classy and elegant, with a nice tapered shape to it. I especially like this asymmetry here in the base, with PNSO etched into it without being vulgarly obvious. Now there's a very nice feel to this, which will leave fingerprints, so a microfiber cloth is your friend here. The star, of course, is the mount of Wilson's head. At this large size and a focus on just the head, with no compromises necessary for an articulating jaw, this bust can fully express the anatomy of the T-Rex skull. Firstly, if you just have a look at the skull from different angles, the lateral, the front, the dorsal, I think you can see how closely it conforms to the skull shape. Now this is stated as 1 to 15 scale, so much bigger than the 1 to 35 PNSO Wilson or Andrea. The beauty of this large size is the ability to include more detail, but at a much finer level. Now let me give you an example. If we look at Andrea here, you see these very fine scales over the jugal. Now in Wilson here, you'll also see fine scales here, but in the same absolute size. And yet on a 1 to 15 scale, the relative sizes can really be appreciated. And you see a level of insane possibility. There's a much broader spectrum of size and shape that can be given to this, while still looking real, and that's what PNSO does to the full. Now let me just show you for a bit. Just love how the copper catches the light of these scales here. And the neck, even a short distance away, looks pretty naked, but when you go close, oh, just look at how minuscule they are. Absolutely exquisite and wonderful. Now just see around the eyes here too. Of course, the feature scales and the much larger oral margin scales look even better at this scale. Now notice how over the serangular, for example, this allows a scale-on-scale -scale effect. Consistently with PNSO's design, there are no lips on this T-Rex. And here you can appreciate the rugosities, the bosses, There's just such a nice tactile feel to all this texture. Now one thing you'll appreciate is how nice the soft tissue looks without the compromises of an articulated jaw. 
continuous contours, nice tissue bulk over the throat without any seams. Again, how this metallic color reflects light at different angles. It just looks like a beautiful bronze sculpture. It's not real bronze though. I believe it's resin and that leads me to one nitpick, the weight. Now, of course, the types of books make a difference, but for me, it's not heavy enough. I generally have at least two textbook size volumes plus various smaller ones. And this book stand does not have enough weight to prevent sliding. It would be ideal if this could be made a lot heavier. Another option might be to have a non-slip mat underneath. Now here's how I set it up. On my desk is where I have three to five books I read the most frequently. So this makes a nice end. With a sturdy wall on the other side. I don't have it on my bookshelf simply because I have so many books, not to mention models, and it would take up valuable shelf space. But for people who don't have very many books, it would look great on the bookcase. And finally, just a note of some of the extras that come with it. Uh, this is a good quality envelope, elegant PNSO white, and inside, Portrait of Wilson. Now just look at that insane detail. And imagine actually having this manifest now in this bookend. It's just incredible. Um, I like the contrasting red here. And it's interesting to see the filaments up here, uh, which aren't included in PNSO's models. Then you have a certificate of authenticity. Then a brief background of PNSO with founders Zhao Chuang and Yang Yang. Always nice to put faces to the people behind the products that you love. I don't think I've seen Yang Yang before, though Zhao Chuang of course appears in many of PNSO's videos on their YouTube channel. So there's the PNSO Wilson, the T-Rex bookstand. Now I've never had a bust of any kind before because I didn't see the appeal, but having this actually in hand, I can understand it. Now having such incredible detail in a metallic bronze finish looks so damn good. And as I learn more about anatomy, I appreciate the little details that went into creating this. And as a love of books, it's really fitting to have one in the form of a functional bookstand. And if you like both books and dinosaurs, especially T-Rex, this might be something to consider.